Imperial Holdings has made an offer to buy Namibian Logistics Group CIC Holdings for 724 million rand in a move that will strengthen the group's logistics division in Southern Africa. Joining me with more on the deal is Imperial CEO Hubert Brody. Hubert, thanks for coming in this afternoon. Um, Hubert, we've seen a bit of a shift over the past few years with you shedding some of your non-core assets, such as the unbundling of Equestra last year. Uh, is this where you see your, yourself moving more into the logistics space? Yes, Stephen, uh, thanks. Yeah, we, we've stated quite clearly a year or so ago that logistics is definitely going to be one of our prime focus areas in the future for expansion, both European logistics and Southern Africa, Africa type of type of logistics. And the reason for that is we, we like the cash flows that come out of a logistics business. We um, believe it uh, achieves many of the hurdle rates that we actually, actually set ourselves. And um, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of road in logistics. There are a lot of more, more opportunities, so you can still continue growing for, for quite a while. Of course, uh, Imperial is quite a, a cyclical sort of business, and we've seen that over the, the course of the, the downturn in the, the global and local economy. Does this help level things out a little bit? Yes, Imperial is a cyclical business because of the motor retailing exposure of the group, not really because of the logistics exposure. And uh, that's definitely one of the reasons why we are pushing logistics, I have more emphasis on that. Uh, also, yes, to level out the, the cyclical cyclical side. Um, and logistics itself is actually quite a defensive defensive business, whereas you have uh, the other side of the group is cyclical. Okay, because of course, um, looking back at last year, about a third of your revenue, over 40% of your operating profit came from the logistics side of the business. Where would you like to see this eventually ending up, perhaps? We, we don't have a particular target for it, but uh, we would be very happy if it is a good 60% of the of the makeup of, of the group. So what I'm really saying is that it can grow quite a bit quite a bit more and we'd be completely comfortable with that. I'm um, just looking at CIC. It had a revenue for the, the year to February of about two and a half billion Namibian dollars or two and a half billion Rand and profit from operations of 105 Namibian dollars, so profitable operation. Of course uh, compared to your own revenue uh, which last year was 52 billion Rand. I mean it's quite a small business. Yes, it's about four percent of our of our of our revenue, and um, probably a similar percentage of our of our operating uh, line. But um, you know, on the margin, where we are looking for growth, it does actually make make quite a quite a bit of difference. A hundred million is a it's not an inconsequential uh, additional operating profit that one gets out, and uh, we would not make an acquisition like this if it's not earnings earnings enhancing. So uh, it's certainly the way we look at it will make a difference to the bottom line. Perhaps tell us a bit about CIC and how it's going to fit into the, the broader business, perhaps synergies that it has with some of your own logistics units. Yes, our, you know, the background to it is really that um, we have a highly integrated and advanced logistics operation in, in South Africa, but north of the borders, um, we, we mainly do transport for our South African customers. And we've been looking for a next step to actually expand and become more sophisticated. And uh, CIC does a lot of that for us because it uh, takes us into warehousing. They have a warehousing network across Southern Africa that's quite comprehensive into distribution of the goods and also merchandising right, right through to the shelf. So it's a, it's a great add-on and an extension and a much deeper uh, value that we can actually provide our customers. Who are some of CIC's customers, can you tell us? Yes, many of their customers are the large uh, South African uh, pharmaceutical companies, uh, food manufacturers, and uh, yeah, of the liquor companies. And as you say, during uh, the tough times, people are still getting food and liquor transported all around the place. Absolutely. How are you going to be funding the deal? Uh, will you be using debt? No, we, we would use our cash resources. Um, so we would not raise additional or new debt for this. We have adequate resources to, to do it, but um, it is a cash deal. And you do plan to keep CRC as a standalone business within the Imperial stable? Completely. That's, that is our style. We, we look for, uh, for touch points between our acquisitions and our current operations and areas of cooperation, but uh, we don't really uh, you know, break or change the shape of a business when we, after we've acquired it. Of course, earlier you were saying that some parts of Imperial are quite cyclical, such as the motor dealerships, a bit more defensive in the logistics side. Of course, I know you're in a closed period, so we can't talk numbers or anything. But how are you seeing the recovery taking hold in South Africa? We had some retail figures out a short while ago this morning, 4.6% growth in May. So it looks like the economy is getting back on its feet. Is this something that you're seeing at Imperial? Yes, it's a, it's a mixed 
mixed bag. Um, you know, you have to look very carefully at retail numbers, whether it's durables that's moving or whether it's, you know, non-durables well, that's, that's moving. Well, you're moving them, you should be able to it's sell the, us. <laughs> it's, the, it's the difference. So what we find is a mixed bag yeah. in, in what we move. We, we certainly see that uh, motor car volumes, uh, as the NAMSA numbers indicate, are very strong. But uh, we don't think on the consumer side things have, have really strengthened that much. How about the World Cup? What sort of fill-up is that given the, the economy and, and Imperial? Yes, uh, you know, we were all disappointed, uh, Stephen, with the, with the numbers of, of visitors. But uh, it looks like the activity levels of the visitors that actually visited us, plus uh, activities of, you know, just the buying patterns of, of South Africans themselves, were actually very active uh, during the World Cup period. And your decision to change Imperial Rent-A-Car to, to Euro, Europe Car ahead of the World Cup, did that pay off? Did people come here recognizing the brand? Yes, it was a, that was a very good decision. It's really proven over the last year that uh, that was the right thing to do. It was difficult to step away emotionally from a brand that's proven itself over such a long time in the country. But uh, given the opening up of the economy and uh, yeah, all the visitors, not only the World Cup, but the cricket tournaments, the Confed Cup last year, it, it is definitely assists assist that division. Well, here is, of course, you have a junior end, so I'm sure we can invite you back in in the next month or so mm -hmm. to, to maybe talk in, in greater detail about the numbers. But thanks very much sure. for coming in today.